Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the 10 best Linux remote desktop servers for RDP according to their pros and cons. So starting off with this list, at number 1 we have Remina. Now Remina's remote desktop software for Linux computers performs well and gives users the option to change the connection quality whenever they choose. Now it works with a wide range of operating systems and distributions and supports the most popular connection protocols which include RDP, VNC, Spice and so much other listed onto the screen. Now if you were to talk about the pros of Remina, then as you can see that we have a lot of them. Remina offers many plugins and add-ons and there are plugin features specifically for each of its protocol as well. Now one such feature is that it provides a tabbed interface. Now Remina is very lightweight and uses a very few resources of the desktop. Remina's flexible deployment supports Windows, Linux and Mac and you can alter your connection speed to better handle the available bandwidth. Now if you were to go over some of the cons of Remina, then the first and the foremost is that by altering the connection speed sometimes reduces the quality of the multimedia as well. Remina is only a remote client, it has no server features. Other than that, the interface is outdated and can slow down the busier help desk teams. Apart from all of these, it does not have a paid support option. All in all, it is not ideal for businesses that require all-in-one help desk solution. Moving on with our list, at number 2, we have the team viewer. So Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS are just a few of the desktop and mobile operating system that the TeamViewer supports. The TeamViewer offers a full feature remote access, remote control and remote assistance. With TeamViewer, you can virtually connect to and utilize any computer or mobile device anywhere in the globe. Now, TeamViewer comes with a lot of pros and features, some of which are their cross-platform compatibility, getting the direct access to the device, the availability of further tools and the high focus on security and also the remote printing capability. After that, the TeamViewer ensures high security in communication and the sharing of data and has an improved user experience. TeamViewer has some of the cons but they are quite low in number when compared with the pros and the cons are that it is higher in price than few other competitor products and the complexity of security measures out there are for little teams not for large scale teams. Number 3 on our list we have the VNC Connect. Now this one is another popular remote desktop program to use VNC protocol. Now using VNC Connect gives you a great opportunity if file transfer are essential to your remote access. With other servers the client runs fine but it functions best on its own server. Some of the pros of VNC Connect are that it supports multiple sessions, full screen operations and scaling of the remote display to suit the open window on the client machine. And users who care about security will value the privacy options of the VNC Connect. And in comparison to other Linux remote desktop program, VNC Connect has a user friendly interface. Apart from all of this, you can send and receive files to and from the remote server while connected, as well as send and receive instant chats. Now VNC Connect also comes with a lot of cons. Some of them are that it is not free and although it comes at a lower cost, the trial user have a lack of support provided with the software. And if there is too much happening on the screen, VNC Connect's performance becomes a little bit poor. And VNC Connect involves a complex setup. Anyways, at number 4 on our list we have the Tight VNC. Now this Linux remote desktop solution Tight VNC comes with a Java viewer and several useful features. Entirely cost free and optimized to work effectively with slow connections and limited bandwidth as well. However, if you were to talk about the sum of the pros that we get with Tight VNC, then the only application in this list that makes use of a Java viewer is the Tight VNC. It is completely free and it is optimized to work effectively with slow connections and limited bandwidth. Its interface makes it extremely simple to transfer VNC connections across the SSH tunnels. If you were to quickly go over some of the cons that we get with Tight VNC, then the first and the foremost is that videos are hardly viewable and games that need quick keystrokes perform very poorly, with a delay of more than 2 seconds. Other than this, the integrated security is a weakness of tight VNC. Since there is no native encryption, hackers might intercept your data communication, but there is an option to add your own security layer if you are an experienced user. Still, no benefit to a beginner. At number 5, we have the Chrome Remote Desktop. Now, Chrome Remote Desktop is a free application created by Google that is compatible with all platforms and operating systems. This makes Chrome Remote Desktop an excellent Linux client for remote desktop connections. The Chrome Remote Desktop comes with a lot of pros, such as it is very secure as it's built on Google infrastructure using the latest technology such as WebRTC. It is always free and has top-notch performance with an easy setup. 
With Google's secure infrastructure and the most recent open web technology, this solution provides almost robust security. And a desktop client that supports all platform, can run on your mobile and tablet as well, is a proper solution to a lot of users. Still, Chrome Remote Desktop comes with a few cons as well. It has a limited number of features. There are no multi-monitor support and no multi-session handling. All features require Chrome. After that, the Chrome Remote Desktop is actually quite simple or basic. Expected features like integrated text chat and file sharing are totally not available. And even there is no drag and drop file transfer feature. Number 6 on our list is actually Vinegar. Now, Vinegar is compatible with practically all Linux systems. And it has a variety of appealing features for connecting to and managing remote systems. And it is well integrated into the genome environment. This remote desktop program supports a VNC server and has numerous connections active at once, which is one of its finest features as well. Now, additional protocols supported by it are RDP, SSH, SPICE, and VNC. If we talk about some of the pros of Vinegar, the Vinegar analyzes errors more quickly soon as the issue occurs. It has a straightforward GUI and it allows you to take screenshots of the remote computers and can find a running VNC server on the network. And if the VNC server allows it, you may also utilize Vinegar to enable JPEG compression and you may also set the color depth for the connection using the program. If we were to talk about the cons of Vinegar, then Vinegar is unable to get updates, henceforth the lack of maintenance for some time. An active connection's quality parameters can be altered, and an active connection's quality parameters cannot be altered within Vinegar. Other than the Linux desktops, the client does not run on any other system including mobile device. After this, we have ThinLink at number 7. Now, ThinLink is a software used by organizations to run Linux-based computing infrastructures. One of the main goals of this software is to allow companies to centralize their IT infrastructure rather than distributing them among end-users. Once the infrastructure is centralized, users can access them remotely through the software itself. If you were to talk about the pros of ThinLink, then it can have from 1 to 5,000 concurrent users that can use this software. It protects from man-in-the-middle attacks and it has much fewer fault compared to other similar tools. And the convenience during the user journey and the administration is very on point. Now, if we were to talk about the cons of ThinLink, then there is only one major con, and it is that it is only available to users who want to access the Linux desktop. At number 8, we have the Free RDP. A Free RDP is a free running software released under an Apache license, and this software can be used anywhere and on any platform. Furthermore, it follows the Microsoft Open specifications as well. Now, there are a few pros of VRDP, including better performance compared to the most other tools, thus improved user experience, it even provides safety over the data that is being shared, and it is easily configurable without much hassle. If you were to talk about the cons of free RDP, then there is one major con, and it is the inability to use the desktop concurrently. Now, at number 9, we have the R Desktop. Now, R Desktop is another tool on this list which is unquestionably one of the better open source RDP applications. Furthermore, it is even a Unix client for Windows Remote Desktop Services connections. Our desktop was not only the first remote access program that functions admirably as a Kali Linux Remote Desktop client, but it was also the most popular client for a very long time. If we were to go over the pros of our desktop, then the first and the foremost is its comparatively low cost. After that, its presence of the centralized storage is a great benefit. It has increased potency and higher collaboration than other tools, and the authorization and access management features are totally on point. If you were to talk about some of the cons that we get with our desktop, then a reliable network is indeed essential, and powerful remote desktop services is further essential to monitor all connections. Anyways, the last entry on our list is actually Arrow Admin. Now, Arrow Admin allows secure access, remote connections, file transfer, and computer controls. Furthermore, it has the ability to connect an unlimited number of endpoints and it is also specifically designed to simplify remote computer connection processes. If we were to talk about the pros of Aero Admin, then the ability to transfer file easily is a great pro that we get with Aero Admin. Other than this, it provides secure remote connectivity and it is free for home and business use. It has a strong system for access control, it has auto-update features and it even provides the session logs. If you were to talk about the cons of Arrow Admin, then there is only one major drawback and it is the fact that it does not have any administrator access. Anyways, those were the top 10 best Linux desktop servers. Now if you still want to learn more about these servers mentioned in this list, then simply check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new with this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.